Hey you guys, Rebecca Overson here. I just wanted to go live really quick and talk about what Carrie had just posted about this scam that's going around all the massage therapist Facebook groups. So let me just talk to you about a couple of things so that you can avoid this. Number one, if somebody is ever calling you, offering you something, it's a solicitation, right? So obviously that person is either trying to sell you something or it is a scam. I am telling you guys, I get probably 14 robocalls a day. There's actually really great um, apps that you can get to block stuff like that. But just remember, if someone is calling you to offer you something, somebody that you don't know, they got your name from a list or they scraped websites or just, okay, just think about that. Somebody's calling you to offer you something. It's a solicitation. Get off of those lists. Just don't talk to those. Look, nothing good has ever happened by any company like Yelp soliciting you or Marriott trying to get you to buy a timeshare or like all that stuff. Like nothing good has ever happened when people solicit your business that way through phone calls. Okay. So that's rule number one. Okay. The second thing is what are they actually offering you? You know, <clears throat> this is something that you need. In this case, this particular scam uh, saying she works at a company called Perks at Work uh, to lead you to believe she's chosen you out of all the other candidates. Okay, like, again, that kind of flattery coming from somebody that you literally don't know and somebody who called you, is it's, it is a sales and manipulation tactic, okay? What are they offering? Automatic clients, a list of a bunch of doctors. How is that going to help you? Think about it. How is a list of a bunch of people going to help you? Automatic clients. And she says at the end of an hour interview, without warning, there's a fee for you to be a provider, uh, you know, per uh, five or $600 per month. You know, um, you guys, the contacting the police is not going to help, okay? It's not a crime that's being committed. All right, so anybody can call you, but don't be foolish. <laughs> don't sit there and have a conversation with somebody who has picked your number off of the massage therapy, you know, licensed registry wherever you live or has found your website and is trolling you, okay? So be be wise. It's it's a crime. It's all it's actually if you give somebody your credit card that you that is soliciting you for a business offering something you're not clear about um, and saying manipulative types of things to get you to hand over their credit card, then the, the only crime is your ignorance, okay? Don't be foolish about these things. It is 2019. These things have been going on since for, for decades, for as long as there have been telephones. So be wise. Do not talk to solicitors. Do not... Don't just don't engage in that. And certainly do not give them credit cards when something seems too good to be true. All right. Be smart about this. Nobody but you like you are the best person to build your business. If somebody's calling you saying you need to pay $800 a month for Yelp to get visible. Bullshit. You do not need that. Somebody's calling you trying to get your money out of your pocket. Bullshit. You don't need that. All right. If anything, just stop and pause and say, you know, who is this person? Let me do some research on them. But literally 100% of the time that somebody has called me from an unknown number or from a blocked number or for something like that, trying to help me do something to offer my business. It's a hundred percent of the time. It's not legitimate or it's just a really bad strategy. All right. So tell me you guys, as you guys are watching, anybody have any questions about this? Any concerns about this? Um, just, you know, be, be smart. What are you going to do with a list if somebody sells you some list? This is also, you guys, the reason why having a niche will protect you. I don't need a list of random doctor. I don't need to be a person providing perks for a bunch of people at work. I am not your average massage therapist. I don't want to be. I don't want to be like everybody else. I don't want to be a commodity. I don't want to be as cheap as coffee and cigarettes and pizza and HBO movies, you know, or Netflix. That's not what we're trying to be. So part of this, I think why people get swindled into this type of thing is because they're ignorant and because they're desperate and because they don't know who they are. 
All right, so my message for you today is know who you are. Does this person have the right to be talking to you? Or why would you give an hour of your precious time to somebody who's just randomly hit you up on your phone that you've never met, that you don't know, is promising the sun and the moon and the stars, and then wants your MX? You guys agree? Do you disagree? Let me know. Okay, I got work to do. <laughs> Enjoy your day, you guys. I'll talk to you.